how I started in accountancy was, um, you know, actually I was a science and math student where uh, I didn't make it in my medical degree. So coming from a family where everybody were engaged in business, were entrepreneurs and all that. So they recommended for me that accounting and law would be a better option. So that's how I started my journey in accountancy at a very young age after the secondary school. When I was in the university in London, all my professor and most of them, my friends in the circle of friends and all that, they recommended that once you pursue this line, accounting, finance and law, it would be more better for the career uh, is to get ourselves passed through a certain professional bodies and CIMA came along as one of the uh, recommended professional uh, courses by my lecturers and my friends. CIMA, I would say that during my time in the early 90s, they have very systematic syllabus, they have the support, the resource and everything for us to even do our own self-study. So that's how I utilise my time properly while working and I actually study that part-time due to the busy schedule because I was engaged in so many organisations at the time. I didn't manage to take the time to go and uh, finish my exam. It was much later on that I finished the exam and actually on board as a professional member. Accounting is not just study academic and qualification. In fact, it is the first step into a learning journey. As for me, I have been witnessing using accounting, finance and law into many parts of my career. Nations building, I have witnessed many infrastructure, the development era of uh, Malaysia. I was part of the nations building team member at that time for our country's infrastructure and all that. And yet, I take the time to study and to continuously study, learning and be part of professional body. So if I really truly want to share what the younger generation should have is that remember this, the first step is to acquire the knowledge and the journey of thousand miles begin with first step. If you focus, you manage the time well, you know, there will be limitless boundaries, opportunity where you can tap on from the knowledge you already have. So I would strongly encourage uh, younger generation that this is a very rewarding profession because the utilization and the application of all this knowledge is open up to a variety of horizon, depend on where your passion lies. Hi, I'm Aida Lim Abdullah. So, I have uh, many professional qualifications. SEMA is one of them. As our life develops, we find a purpose. And that part will, should be aligned with the career that we are building. And the career that we are building need all this continuous learning like what SEMA expects from all its members.